Hey, it's been uh, raining pretty violently for a few days here. So we're gonna set up the gazebo and get out of this rain really quickly because oh, I don't normally wear a poncho, but today is a poncho kind of day. There's better rain suits, but hey, the price was right on this. Oh, this will do fine. And it can't be a campsite without a firing. So I've hauled out some rocks and we'll build a little firing here. Good, that'll work. I grabbed a bunch of old construction waste. I gotta be careful because there's some nails sticking out of it. And it's soaking wet, so that doesn't burn good at the best of times. I'm gonna break out Blue Betty here. And when she starts barking, these boards are gonna sing. You gotta get this thing humongous so that it'll stay burning. Reminds me of my times in the Pacific Northwest. Green wood in the rain, trying to get her to burn all night. Had to stack it this, this tall, probably six feet tall, green wood. The buds were actually, it was cut that day in the springtime and the buds were like blossoming, like little buds before it started to burn just from all the pressure, so yeah. This will do nicely. Now we're talking, this is less awful already. It's getting better by the minute. So now that this step one nonsense of some shelter and a fire is done, step two, a little bit of beer today, Alexander Keith's, West Coast favorite up here in Canada. Mm, mm, mm. See, I'm not even drinking swill beer anymore. Uh, I've got some self-esteem and now I'm drinking bottled. Keith's. I'm not quite drinking it from a frosted glass yet, but uh, who knows, one day, uh, one day I just might. This gazebo features side panels, optional, that attach over the sides. Now of course I have an intrinsic ability to lose things that aren't permanently affixed to anything I own. So it's somewhere in our stuff from moving. But the rain beads down so nicely on the outside of the screen, and as long as there isn't a huge wind, that's okay. The water stays mostly out. And as for tent pegs, sometimes I lose things that aren't permanently attached to my camping structures. And in that case, I just uh, throw on a boulder or a rock or whatever I can find, and that holds it down pretty good. There's worse winds uh, out there than in this part of the country. We do get fairly lucky without too many severe gusts blowing through. But I've slept in a lot colder than this, so this should be no problem, even without the side screens. And this is going to be a very cozy night, in my opinion. I'm going to get my feet out of these wet shoes and into some dry socks, and I'm going to cuddle up by the fire here. There are a few pleasures as simple in life as getting out of your soaking wet socks by a small fire, warming your feet up, and there's a deer literally running through the yard right now. Let's see if I can go film that thing before he gets spooked.
Majestic is all I have to say about that little creature that uh, pranced through the field there. And we're in the swamp here. It's kind of a swampy area. Before the sun dips down, we're going to go take a look at that. Because there's frogs riveting constantly. Birds are singing. Howl of a coyote in the distance. and the occasional cow mooing. So it's uh, all sorts of nature out here and we're gonna take a quick peek. Oh yeah, that's nice. spots out here allow for the water to collect and that is a great habitat for the frogs and I'm sure there's going to be crickets around here too. Over there there is a spot I tried to take the quad through. That did not go very well. It got deep. Early in the spring this swamp was frozen at the bottom and I made it through. And I tried again later after the the ice melted on the bottom I got stuck like right up to the seat so this is to be explored delicately and could be quite good once once the water dries out a little but the rain is starting to come down again so I'm gonna move inside preserve what little dryness I have left. I stoke the fire with some big muddy nail filled pieces of dimensional lumber here because uh, it's the way I bushcraft my fires around here. And I'm going to be bone dry inside, nice and warm, listening to the pitter-patter of rain on the top of this uh, gazebo. And now we're going to cook something up in this fire. And I'm going to just get in there and hunker down because I think there's a lot more rain coming if the forecast is right. And usually it is when I don't want it to be. In a swamp, with a little fire, that's all you need in this world. All right, time for dinner. So, I got this pie oven. It does a double piece of bread. And as you can see. So, I'm gonna spray both parts of this. good and uh, we're gonna top this thing with uh, oh, we're on earth oh <laughs> there's the bread two three four all right 
I guess I'll put them in there the way they might meet their counterparts over here. Chili! <laughs> got a got a spoon around here somewhere, but this might do. <laughs> There's the spoon. I found the spoon afterwards. So we got cheese here. Holy moly. Oh boy. Let's go stick this on the fire. Out of the fire and yes. Oh yeah. Like a grilled cheese chili. Done in these little pie ovens. Mmm. Yum yum yum. About time to hunker down here, but I can't do so before I give a big thumbs up and a Steve approval and thank you to all of the beer donation subscribers. Um, everybody who's sent a beer donation or has picked up a t shirt, you're making these things possible because I really do <laughs> work a real job for about 40 hours a week and then try to do this so all of this makes it really possible and really easy so thank you guys time for this guy to hunker down for the night yeah this is the way everybody should go to bed a little crackling fire and the fresh night air so we'll see you people in the morning Good morning. I slept cozily last night. Extremely cozily because it's probably about 11 o'clock I really slept in today. And uh, the sun has came out and it's a nice fresh smelling day. The ground here is still, still a soggy potato, but that's okay. Water is always a really good refreshing way to start the morning. And it wasn't until I was probably a year or two into camping that I really started focusing more on food and water. The very first time I went camping as an adult, you know, like as well at 16 or 17 without my parents with me, just a bunch of us got together. We literally brought tent, sleeping bag, and beer. And in the middle of the night, we're still having some beer by the fire and we're getting hungry. <laughs> we had no food with us and we wander the campground trying to steal a picnic basket from somebody's uh, RV. All we managed to find was a can of gravy that somebody left out on a picnic table. So we brought the can of gravy back to the campsite and we hacked it open with an axe, dumped it on a plastic bag and ate it cold with our bare hands. So <laughs> that was the last time we brought uh, no food with us. And of course in the morning we were very thirsty and it had rained a little bit at night and we were drinking the the rainwater off the fly of the tent and uh, then we promptly ran into the town and we got our supplies so now i'm over prepared 
um, when I go camping because that was that was unpleasant at best. Mm. So I pack this all up and get it back to the house because if I leave these things set up, uh, well, I'd love to leave them kind of permanently set up, but the wind knocks them around and then I find them over in the neighbor's yard somewhere and that type of thing. But we are going to get back to uh, get back to filming uh, another video tomorrow, so I can hopefully play some catch up here and get uh, videos back to where they need to be. So thanks for watching if you watched this far. Uh, please subscribe if if you haven't and watched this far and you'd like to. It's uh, it's a good thing to do and it makes you feel good. And we're gonna see you guys. I, I typically try to go every Thursday. Things have been a little wonky lately, but it's that is the goal. And if I can, I'll sprinkle in you know updates here and there. And, but uh, I can pretty much only go camping like one night a week. And that's pushing it for uh, just to, you know the logistics behind everything. Uh, you know, getting food, figuring out where I'm going, traveling there, being away from my wife sometimes for you know 24 hours a week uh, in a, on a constant basis is not. Uh, it's not easy on her, so, and, and or on me, because you know, I we have a good marriage despite the fact that I'm camping, uh, camping all the time, seemingly solo. So, we're going to see you guys uh, next week, and until then, you are camping with Steve.